Greetings from Zimbabwe, greetings from isolation. And today I just want to tell you a brief story about those animals that give us inspiration. We're in a very strict drought area at the moment. There's tough, dry and drought waters closing up. We have some and we're doing our best to save what animals we can. So what we're going to show you today is the parched landscape that we have in this water reservoir, this dam right here. Remarkable, remarkable features over here of this broken, parched landscape. If we look down here and you're going to see all these little cracks, there could be crabs, there could be freshwater mussels in there, there could be lungfish, catfish, there could be uh, all sorts of other little aquatic critters and bugs, etc trying to eke out their last days in here. It's a problem because you've got Mr. Marabou Stork or a whole flock of Marabou Storks coming along and putting their long beaks through here and grabbing any little living thing that might be down there. This is it. So we're off now to speak to 15 Impalas. A couple of young rams, mostly ewes, we brought up from the south of the country and placed in an area where they are secure and they're waiting to be released into the wilds of this place. See you there in just a sec. Welcome to the Boma on the Mavros estate. And this particular edifice that you see, this big circular Boma, B-O-M-A, has been made and is always made when we have translocated animals and we are giving them refuge in a new area. So I've just explained to you how absolutely arid and parched the land is in our country at this time of the year. Drought. No water, no food. And what we've done though is we brought animals from the south. They've been captured and moved up to the north of the country where we are, where there's more water and more food. And we've put them into this boma. And the boma's at a height that antelope can't leap out of it, A, and B, that they can't see any distractions on the outside or feel any fear on the outside. So this is a temporary enclosure to house the impala that have been brought up. The little impala antelope, which are so gorgeous, and we've got 15 of them in this area, which you're going to see here before you, and very, very hard to see, by the way. So these little chaps came from an area where they were dying of thirst, literally. They've come up here, and now they're getting accustomed to this place, and they'll be released very shortly. So if we go through here and look up against that edge of the boma, we will see them. We will see the figures moving. Little impalas. I hope you got a view of them. Oh, there they jump. Look at those ones leaping. Leaping. My goodness, that's it. That's enough. We won't disturb them anymore. So you've now had an idea of these little chaps and what they're up to. And the fact is, they're safe. And they love this place. The doors of this place have been opened. Let's walk this way and we're going to show you the way out for these little guys. The way out to water and to food. But you saw that leaping. Those wonderful springs, leaping four times their own height, most graceful. And I just want to tell you, from the Mavros family, that's the kind of stuff that inspires all of us to create little things. To create, for example, leaping impala. Dom! There they go. Little rams with horns. The ewes don't have horns. They're hornless. Those little boys going there, they're off to a night out in Africa looking for something lovely so from Zimbabwe to all of you please stay safe Mwah. see you soon